Hi, welcome back. This is Lifestyle which is Versatile. As you know, welcome. Thank you for subscribing and staying tuned on this channel. Um, I really want to say thank you to everyone who's shown love, um, commented and said, you know, just being in, in touch. Thank you. So if you're yet to subscribe, please do. Okay. All right. Now, um, I'm tr truly excited because this month of July makes it two months I've been on YouTube as a new YouTuber and um, creating content and <laughs> getting good at it by the day. But before I continue, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my sister, my friend, my sweetheart darling. Thank you so much, Tessie IJ, for all of the encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, Tessie IJ has actually been on YouTube for about three years and um, a year into after she did start, I picked up interest. Now, I've always been, um, I've actually had a background in television, radio and television. And, um, you know, I thought about it. Why not use the YouTube platform as, you know, a base for you to just keep up what you're doing because of course as I say practice makes perfection and then when I saw that she had started it I had to reach out to her and um, you know when I told her about what I wanted to do and she actually knows my passion she knows the days I do TV and radio and she's like you can do this you know how to talk and all of that but I was uncertain I was fidgety I was all emotions put together and I didn't know how to go about it so I would like to use today's video to share my experience in this past two months okay so after it took her two years to encourage me I picked up two years later and one of I'm gonna share this one of my major um, challenge or setback was the fact that I didn't have a good phone that was my own um, reason or one of the reasons that pulled me back okay so I felt my phone's camera at the time was not ideal to make good videos or even take good pictures and this was also because my siblings always used to laugh at me oh your video quality your picture quality is or oh, get a good phone you have a crappy phone and all of that so it really put me down and it didn't make me see any desire oh this phone might not do it and yes I did check up at the time say use what you have but most of the people who were doing these videos that's how I felt most of the people who were doing these videos I believe when they at the time they were doing it and saying use what you have if they had used what they had probably they might encourage me more that's how I saw it so I was not encouraged to just use what I had so I had to wait and this is what I did to that effect I had to start manifesting my new phone yeah, I practically had to put myself in that condition of mind to attract what I wanted. I am a big believer of the law of attraction, that you attract whatever you so desire. And so I began to attract it. It took me two years to eventually manifest the, the phone that I'm actually making use of now. And then I felt satisfied once I saw the camera quality and I'm like, okay, it's time to get started at this. And that's when I picked up. And then, okay, with a good phone in hand, and it actually came in much early in the year. And I'm like, okay, so. So what do you want to do and it was at that point I think I I, I called I checked up on um, IJ again and said to her okay I think I'm ready to start what do I need to do and all of that and she's like okay you've been saying this a long time I wonder why you don't want to get started anyways but since you're already good at fine you you will go and um, it's still I still um, stalled a bit I think because of work and other activities I really couldn't fix myself but lo and behold the lockdown came in the month of March and um, you know that's the time there was a boom in the um, in the digital world. A lot of people were selling content, and a lot of people were broadcasting and sharing knowledge on um, um, digital literacy, how to use your phone to edit, and all of that. And I, because that was actually what I thought, because if I shoot with my phone, how am I going to eventually do the editing? And knowing as a TV person, I definitely know how to do a bit. I have my hands on it a bit, but. With a phone, you know, I thought I didn't really know if it would require me to export and start doing all of that again. And then that was when it happened. So thanks to the lockdown, these are the blessings of the lockdown in 2020 for me. Okay, so I had to attend some of these WhatsApp classes and they shared apps you could use for editing. You know, they suggested a couple of apps. And that's time with my new baby phone, I began to download a lot of things. And to me, I was really scared not to load up so much apps on it and that it might begin to slow down the phone. Um, I was really treating it as some precious egg, okay? So I didn't know what to do, but I went on, downloaded some of these um, stuff, even on Instagram, I started looking at how to grow my Instagram um, 
handle and you know grow it i was running a personal account at the time and that was when i was so okay change to business and all of that and i'm like okay when i went to the option for instagram to boost business i wasn't sure if i really wanted to do business but because i know as a content creator i felt that might be a better thing for me so i stuck to um, content creation as my own niche there so i had to you know because i needed to have like a face there and of course my facebook um platform is okay like at least i'm satisfied with the number of um, um followers and um, friends i have on there these are personal some of them are really personal people i know personally and i have a, a large following but of course it will grow but um, I think sometime last year I actually reduced the number of um, friends and followers I had on Facebook. So it actually did reduce. So um, yeah, I had to make sure that those angles were on point because to me, um, not having physical friends so much, I felt these platforms were the channels that I would use to promote my YouTube channel for the time being because part of the trainings we, we got online were all of this so I needed to make sure that all, the, all those were stabilized and this is the reason I'm mentioning this so um, for new YouTubers of course I'm sharing this experience with you okay so I made sure all that was okay at least satisfactory not that I'm not going to upgrade I'm still going to upgrade as this channel I mean grows I'm going to actually upgrade it so yeah and then that was done the classes were done the next thing was okay what's my niche now i'm very passionate about single parenting i've actually been very passionate about it being a, a young child i don't know why but i've had that passion for a long time and then um having experienced single parenting twice in a row i had to i think it just pushed me and then the passion i also have towards widows mostly towards um never married single parents really really warms my heart so it was at that point i knew okay you know i think the niche because one of the things you hear often when you see other youtube videos they always say um create your niche focus on your niche your niche your niche your niche and all of that so yeah i had to figure out okay my niche is single parenting and then another thing was search so i tried to search to see if there were other single parenting um sites or single parenting discussions or single parenting channels on youtube and i found out not much or none at all. I mean, from the kind of search results I got, I didn't get anything about, okay, there's a competition and all of that. And um, it got me thinking, okay, is this really what I want to go into? But I am passionate about this. I'm experiencing this. And I feel that there are people that might need the information that I would like to pass. So I still went ahead anyways. But at the same time, um, single parents in Nigeria are not really jived about the whole thing, the whole situation. They wish they can get out of it. There was need to um, look out for um, something else to add up to so to give my channel a facelift at least and have more content now my name on my instagram and facebook is Eunice versatile and i know i am multi-talented um <laughs> i'm super blessed god has blessed me that much so I needed to share experiences of the things I'm involved in and so that's why I decided okay lifestyle directly and another challenge I actually did have was actually name finding the right name and I had to run this by a couple of people I remember running through running it by someone a barista at my church and then she's like why not do it because I wanted to go with parenting as a whole so that my target could be everyone parenting can also come on the channel and she's like no why don't you do single parenting focus on that since that's where your interest lies why don't you just do single parenting but when I looked at it I'm like single parenting single parenting and then with my name because I wanted to grow my name you know versatile is the brand that I would like to grow I you know that's the brand I want to be known for so I really wanted to make sure Eunice Versatile was added to it and then the single parenting by it didn't really make much so that's why I eventually decided to go with lifestyle because I considered the fact that if I did just single parenting topics I might not have um, much viewership or more people coming on because then um, other parents might not want to those who are not single parents might not want to stop by the channel to check it out so I needed to also ensure that I put it so I had to look at what, what my interests are and and based on my experience as a human in this um, three decades of my life so I decided to now focus on the interest what interests me most I'm actually a yogini so um, I have interest in yoga a lot and I practice so that's why the health and wellness comes in and as a mental health um, lay counselor I felt it was also needful and we're in that era where um, the mental health um, issue is paramount 
So yeah, that's what led to the health wellness um, angle, then the lifestyle, because I just love being out there. I love to try new things and all that. I love travel, I have sound sites and all. So I decided to include that as well. And then of course the single parenting aspect comes, okay? And then food. Now, I love to eat, okay? I love to cook. Don't get me wrong, I love to cook and I love to eat, but I love to eat more than I love to cook. Get that, okay? So, but I have friends who do a lot of cooking, they love to cook. And just like my um, friend I mentioned, Tessie IJ, you can check out her food channel. Um, it's called Tessie's Kitchen. I'll also put the inscription below so you could check her out. She's based in Italy. So, um, yeah. I have friends like that and most of them also run uh, cafeterias and all that so I am mostly found at these places so I thought okay why don't you include food at least you learn and they always love to cook um, all these indigenous dishes so I decided to include food as part of it and also when I come across different foods my friends know me as the taster so that's how best that's how best when you find us in the group I am the one who always tastes I'm the one who gives them the desire to want to eat i remember my friend amaka sometimes she doesn't have the ability or the urge to eat but once she sees me eating it opens up her appetite so i'm glad i do this to people because in a way you're blessing people you know your life is just a blessing it lights up people okay so yeah and that's why the food channel came and then my love for reading i although i have a library full of books but now i use reading apps to read and i thought to share you know use that aspect to and incorporate it into my channel and that's what my channel is about now having done um the other um things i mentioned the next step i reached out to my friend again tessie ij and i said to her okay i think i'm ready to eventually launch into this um whole youtube thing what do i do and she says just edit your video we had i think i remember we had about 45 minutes talk and then she told me you know she came with the motivation speaking and all of that and it was just it was like that was just what i needed for that morning and immediately after the talk i just looked for something in my wardrobe put on something and then i just went into my other room um, that's where you see the first video with the um, quick introduction title and I went into my room and that's another thing location was also a challenge that's another thing location was also a challenge for me so I went into my other room and I sat there and started to talk I don't have a problem with talking but the aesthetics the um, other things around it is what really like um, either encourages me or motivates me so I just you know okay whatever and then I spoke and posted with the ginger and then I shared it with her. Now, after sharing with her, I shared with a couple of my um, my family members and some of my friends and I said to them, please help me check it out. What do you think? And, all. and everyone went, oh, way to go, way to go. And Tessie gave me a few tips. And my brother-in-law, Tochi Daniels, now said to me um, from his own review, he's like, okay, your wall is not da da da. This is what you can do. Now I had a green background, and then he gave me a suggestion. He made me a suggestion on how to make it more nice looking. So that was the point. I said, okay, you know what? I think I'm going to do it. I also had to use the help of um, my friend and brother Chidebere. So he also helped out in the painting. Yeah, you could say that this is like an appreciation video, but at the same time, I am so grateful to most of these people because they were instrumental to this channel having its existence right now as we speak so yeah he helped me out with the painting and that was where i got the job so that's how i eventually got my room set up but i am more of an outdoor person so i always love to be out there and that's why sometimes you see me do some outdoor shots because i love nature okay tessie recommends me to a platform that was like a 30 days challenge that was ongoing so i had to check it out it was by Daryl. I'll put the link or tag him as well. So she told me to join that challenge and join other creators. So I did um, join. It was also connected on Facebook. Now, one thing as a YouTuber, you must be ready to have is data. I remembered that in the month of um, of May alone, I used over 70 gig, rather. I used up to that in the month of May. Now, on a normal, I will not use more than 10 gig normally. Okay, so I was really, I was really like, oh, crazy about it. Now it's it's this way because I'm a new YouTuber. Of course, money is needed. Now imagine the lockdown; we're not really working and all that, making money out of it. Then I, I had to look at the fact that um, 
you know, how am I going to go about it? But this is what I wanted. This is what I was, I mean, I'm passionate for. So I really needed to put it in. So yeah, I spent money on that. Now it's a lot, um, if you're Nigerian, you can relate that you actually have to buy data. We're not like the Americas or other countries where Wi-Fi is on the street. You can actually pick up Wi-Fi, okay? But you have to buy your own data. So that's why I am really mentioning this. So if you're starting off as a new YouTuber, you want to consider these things and get ready for it. Another thing I did was connect with other channels. I connected very well with um, Kilichi Bemena. She's Nigerian and she's she gives um, tips, shares tips on how to how your YouTube journey should be and all of that. So I watched a lot of her videos and as well, um, Jilin Peckins, I also watched hers and a few others. I really could relate to them. I really loved it. And recently I started um, seeing, I'm, I'm trying to think the name, something about vlog. She does the vlog masterclass. I'm also going to put, um, tag her in this post as well. And these were the people that really, and I remembered also reaching out, I mean, watching Nick's videos too. These um, channels really encouraged me. Then another thing, when you sign up, open your YouTube um, channel, when you open, sign up on YouTube, you are recommended to go through the um, Creators Academy. And on the Creators Academy, there are courses you have to take. And yes, I took some of those courses, but I've realized, oh, oh, okay, I'll talk about the um, YouTube Creators Academy much later, maybe in another video. So, but yeah, I participated in um, the Creators Academy. I'm still on it. I take courses most times. And then, of course, downloaded some apps that will enable this um, channel to eventually become what you see it as. Now, um, yes, just um, the other day, I got a feedback from someone. I was asking, oh, have you signed up to my YouTube channel? She said, yes, the very first day you posted your first video. And it's really nice. I'm like, really? And she's like, I like what you do, the finishing touch and everything, how it turns out. I'm like, for real? She says, did you put features, edits, and effects and all? I'm like, no, it's just, that's just me. And I use no, no effects whatsoever. And that was another thing I was told not to do, advised by some of my friends. They told, um, you know, who have an idea on videos and all. I was advised to use less of um, effects on my videos. And yes, it is what you see today. I'm still learning at it. I'm not perfect yet. And of course, as you know, we learn every day. So I am on this journey to learn. I'm on this journey to share with you. And I thought to share what two months has been like. It's not been easy. The growth has not been steady. I'll do... Um, a video later on to just um, break down on what new YouTubers should not put their minds to and what you should watch out for if you're actually starting the YouTube video based on my own experience. Of course, you know this channel is all about sharing my experience with you, right? So I will do that in the coming videos. But as far and as much as I know, I'm anticipating that the month of July is going to turn up as the best I've ever had. And I'm trusting that it is the same for you too. So thank you so much for staying by and um, watching this video till this point. Thank you and I'm wishing you a great day. Namaste. Love and lights.